This new one-click AI agent is absolutely insane and is completely free. What if I told you there's a free AI agent that can log into Gmail, code entire websites, and analyze your competitors without any setup? And here's the crazy part. It does things even $2,400 a year AI tools like ChatGPT Operator can't do, Open Operator just dropped, and it's breaking all the rules. No API keys, no logins, no technical headaches. Just tell it what you want and watch it work. It's magic. You'll write code, browse YouTube, send emails, literally anything that you throw at it. And unlike other tools, there seems to be zero restrictions. And if you want to see it in action, I'm about to show you some of the most mind-blowing examples that will make you question everything you know about AI agents. I'll also show you how to host this locally, how to get access for free, and how it works. Let's go up. All right, so to get started with Open Operator, pretty simple. You don't need to log in. You don't need to plug in an API key. You don't need to pay for anything. You literally just go to operator.com, and then from here, we can get started. Basically, this AI can browse the web, but it's not really restricted in the same way something like maybe chat GPT operator is. And for example, if we just do something super basic as a test, so we're going to say Google Julian Goldie SEO is going to open up another browser and is going straight to google.com. So you can see here, it's already Googled Julian Goldie SEO. It's found out the information about me and that was super fast and easy, right? And so it's pretty amazing because it's not like there's a Google information about me, pretty simple and easy to do. And it's just processing the results right there. And then it explains its reasoning, right? The UI is super nice as well, which is awesome. And then it's like, right, now it's going to start browsing my website. So you can see it's clicked on juliangoldie.com. And basically this thing can just do anything that say chat GPT operator can do, but you don't need to set it up. You don't need to run terminal. You don't need to have a virtual environment. You can run it locally and I'll show you how to do that today. But also this can do things completely for free and it's also a lot less restricted. So for example, if you're using something like ChatGPT operator, you're really limited to the apps that it has, whereas this can just go off and do stuff for you. Let's have another go now. So inside here, we're going to say, go to YouTube, do a competitor analysis of Julian Goldie SEO's channel. And the other thing to note here, whilst that's doing that, is that you can click between the mouse so you can actually take control of the browser. Let's say, for example, there's a capture or something like that. Or let's say, for example, you need to plug in your login details. You can do that directly in there. So Julian Gold's SEO channel is now navigated straight to our channel. So I actually figured out the URL and it can just navigate YouTube like you can see. Then it's like, right, the next step in conducting a competitor analysis for Julian Gold's YouTube channel is to gather information about the content and channel, etc. This can be done by exploring the different sections in the channel. Now it's navigated to our video section and it can just basically browse the web. But it's amazing that you don't have to log in and this is completely free, right? So I don't even have to pay for an API, let alone the tool itself. Now it seems to be scrolling through the channel, just analyzing the engagement metrics. So for example, it's looking at the frequency of uploads, the engagement metrics such as views and likes, and just having a cheeky gander around. By the way, all the video notes and the prompts I test out today, plus how to set this up locally, will be inside my video notes, link in the comments and description to get my free SEO course that comes with the video notes. What you can also do is you can have multiple tabs open so I can do different tasks. So whilst you're waiting for one to complete, you can open up another, and then you can have an army of AI agents basically running tasks in the background for you, right? So you don't need to just stick to this tab whilst it's getting stuff done. So for example, we'll open up a new tab for open operator. And in here, we're going to say, go to llama coder.together.ai. We'll say code and SEO cost calculator. And basically what we can get the AI to do here is start building our apps, websites, landing pages. And the cool thing is when you have an agent that's browsing the internet, that's interacting with it and then coding other tools, Usually the AI has a really good understanding of how to prompt these tools and to get the best out of them. So you can see here, for example, it's navigated to llamacoda.together.ai, as you can see. And now you can see it's typing into llamacoda, the prompt that we want to use to generate the cost calculator. And now you can see it's beginning to generate the output. So we're getting the code created on the right-hand side, and then we can just preview it once it's done. And here we have the SEO cost calculator built, right? So the AI has trained the other AI to code a tool, to build it out. It's worked perfectly first time. I didn't have to do anything except prompt it. And it's so simple. I mean, for example, if you told maybe someone on your team to just go off and build an SEO cost calculator or an app or a website or a landing page, how long do you think it would take them? Whereas, for example, using an AI agent, you could just go, all right, use an army of AIs, build whatever you want and do your magic, mate. 
and it's really simple and powerful. Let's test whether we can actually log into Gmail. So here I've plugged in my login details. We're going to hit run. Obviously, I'm going to change my password afterwards, but let's see if it can actually just go to Gmail, log in with my passwords. Maybe it can send emails and stuff, let's see. So it's now going to Gmail. And bear in mind, OpenAI cannot do this, right? So I'll show you a comparison in a second. Now, one thing I want to warn you of is it is a little bit slow. This is completely free. This is brand new breaking technology. Like it's not going to be as fast and as smooth as you maybe expect if you're new to this game, right? But the fact that you can do all of this and automate it and actually works very, very well, as you can see, is absolutely amazing. I mean, it's literally typing into gmail.com now. Also, the fact that this is all free as well is wild. And it's very useful to play around with these sort of tools because you can figure out, okay, where's this technology going? Where are we going to be in six months, 12 months? What's the world going to look like? Because undeniably, this is the worst it's ever going to be. Imagine in the future when, for example, it's faster, it's upgraded, it's smarter, it's more intelligent. How soon before it starts replacing human assistants or human secretaries or human executive assistants, etc.? Now it's typing in the password for Gmail and hopefully you can figure out how to sign in. You can see, by the way, I've not manually intervened here at all. I just gave it them and it's figured out exactly how to log in. Type in the password, type in the email. Let's test something else now. So we'll put like who's the best SEO speaker in the world. So it's quite good for just doing research tasks, but it can check your emails. It can log in. You can code tools for you, can build websites, etc. What would probably make this tool a lot better is if you could just chat a bit more back and forth with the tool, but it's still super impressive. So you can see it's running the Google search right now. And there we have me ranking at the top there. So super easy, powerful to use. Absolutely amazing that you can do this. Let me show you how different that is, say, versus something like ChatGPT operator. So for example, if we go to ChatGPT operator, obviously this is a brand new groundbreaking release this week and it costs dollars and if we ask it to do similar things so if we say for example we go to youtube do a competitor analysis of julian gold seo it starts running the browser and bear in mind like you have to log in you have to pay for this tool you can't host it locally and you can see that the site is actually blocked right so it says i attempted to access youtube but the site is unavailable how would you like to proceed and if we say for example like okay go to llama code and seo cost calculator Unlike the free version open operator, which just went off and coded the tool without any extra prompting, ChatGPT operator doesn't seem to be as independent and it does require more manual intervention. So for example, it's like, right, I've entered a prompt to code an SEO cost calculator on Llama Coder. Should I proceed? And it's like, mate, we told you to do that a second ago. Just get on with it. You don't need to ask me for permission. So honestly, like ChatGPT operator, it's going to cost you $2,400 a year. Right now, it's limited only to the apps that's gone inside. Even some of those, if you check out my video yesterday, didn't work so well. Whereas, for example, if you go to Open Operator, it can just go off, do tasks, and just starts browsing the web. Pretty wild stuff. Now, also, you can host Open Operator locally, whereas with ChatGPT Operator, you can't, right? So, for example, they actually have a GitHub. This is called Open Operator on GitHub. I'll show you how to set up in a second, but it's really simple and easy to just host it offline. And you can actually build your own AI agents as well whilst doing that. So let me show you how to do this. You can just copy the instructions. I've got them inside my video notes right here. So we're gonna say git clone, then it's gonna copy that path and we'll just take these commands and start getting it set up. So pretty simple, just copy and paste, get it set up. Then it's gonna host it locally, like you can see. And if we just navigate to the local address that the terminal gave us, We've got open operator ready to go right there. Now, if you're hosting this locally, you just need to set up the EMV file with your API keys. And there's two API keys you need. Let me show you exactly what I mean. So if you want to quickly find this, go to finder, type in open operator, search by the name. Then that's going to open up the folder like you can see. And you just want to go to the EMV local file. So for example, this is what it should look like. So if we open this up, we have text edit. Here's an example of what the EMV file should look like. And then if you go to EMV local, you're just going to plug in your API key from OpenAI and then your browser base API key. Once you've done that, hit save, boom, you're done. Now, obviously it's a lot more technical to set it up locally because it's running locally on your laptop. But if you want to get the API key, just go to platform.openai to get the OpenAI API key. And then you can go to sign up at browserbase.com to get the API key for running that locally as well. Super powerful stuff, really easy to use, no login required. Actually does a better job than the $2,400 per year. ChatGPT operator option, 
and it is so simple to set up locally as well as you can see the other amazing thing is this ai agent is just one click right it's just like boom one click job done now if you want to get the video notes from today including in the instructions on how to set this up locally some of my best prompts along with 100 use cases for open operator feel free to get that link in the comment description to my free seo course if you go to the course ai agent section then open operator you can find that right there but there's tons of other stuff inside this free seo course including how to set up for example ai agents directly with na to n chat gpt operator deep seek r1 agents and all these tutorials have step-by-step -step instructions along with video tutorials along with that inside this free seo course you'll get loads of tips and strategies and SPs on how to do seo how to get more leads how to get more traffic etc you'll also get a free community of 3500 ai seos another free course 53 ai seo tools and 200 free chat gpt ai seo prompts so feel free to get that link in the comments description. And if you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session, feel free to get that link in the comments description. We'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 visits a month and generate hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales and autopilot on this free link building acceleration session. You'll get a free SEO domination plan so you can generate more lead sales and profits from your website. You would discover the secrets to SEO link building or answer any questions you have one-to-one -one, and that would normally cost you thousands of dollars, but this is completely free. You'll learn the best link building strategy for your website, plus how to quickly outrank you compared to the link building and how to 10 SEO traffic based on what's working for us. Feel free to get that link in the comments description. Appreciate you watching. Bye-bye.